So we're talking tour player release today. What does that mean? A lot of words, a lot of clickbait maybe, but what it means basically is tour players have the security of using their wrists correctly through the golf ball. And that happens because of how the wrists are in delivery and how the wrists are post impact. So granted, tour players swing the golf club in a good direction, which means they don't have to flap at the ball to try and close the face or rapidly close the face. So the rate of closure, as we would call it, so how much this club has to close, is generally less the better the player. So it means they get more consistency with their flight and their contact and their loft delivery because of that. The guys that swing it off playing with a very open face and really kind of all over the town will tend to have various different loft delivery to the ball. So the best players, what they tend to do is get the golf club in this delivery position. So the right wrist is extended and set back here and the plane, the club is set behind the hands. And through the golf ball, rotary, and the hand still is in this extended position here. So the right wrist thumb is still pointing back even though the shaft is forward. Then the wrist will extend up. Okay, so the left wrist will extend then from a flat position to an extended position and the club head will come in on the circle for sure but it's certainly further away from the hands than it is with the guys flapping the ball. So the guys flapping the ball, this gap is very small. The guys are very good, this gap is much bigger. And then into the normal finish. So basically, if you're looking for that security through the golf ball of the correct delivery and contact, this tour play release gives us that. If you're a slicer on the golf ball, you have to make sure you get this club facing a strong position before you do this move. Otherwise, you might end up hitting it more solid, hitting it lower, but you'll still certainly probably hit it left to right. Because this is definitely a small rate of closure versus a big rate of cl closure that we'd see with some players. So we are looking for the right wrist extended and set back with the shaft. Rotate through the golf ball. So there is forearm rotation as we do this. As we go through the golf ball, the hands work in and up. The club works more down the target line, but it's still working in. And then it extends and sets up like so. So right hand only practice swings is ideal to get this feel. You would also be a good idea to stick a rod in here and try and get the feeling of the club going up and the club head to the right and the hands to the left that feel and almost feel like the club then goes over the head and we don't kind of chase it with the shoulders kind of this move and that's the feels we want through the ball now doing those practice swings I can feel my right wrist having the workout and that's what I want you to feel I want you to feel like this wrist is working probably different to normal trail wrist rather than right wrist that's what we want to feel so lots of practice swings maybe some right hand only shots with a wedge that might be a good idea just to get you the feel what the hands are doing through that hitting area. We want that security. Let's go and hit one. So again, we'll do the practice swings. And then we're gonna try and hit one. Again, take the power down. Just feel like you're gonna deliver that club. So I just put a small swing on that, small power. Felt very, very solid. I pushed it a little bit, but again, that's not my hands flapping. I normally flap my hands a bit for sure. I'm trying to, in my golf swing, I would like to take my hands out of it a bit more. So this for me, I called it the tour player release because, you know, the amateur release would kind of look like this, like this. And we're basically now using our body more. So it's a body release with controlling hands or controlling the hands through the body and through the right trail wrist and lead risk conditions. So on an impact, we very much want this look. There will be some rotation to square that face up, but we definitely want the wrist to look like this, not like this. So it's kind of bad versus good. And all to prepare that, obviously the club needs to be in this position. And I got a video on the delivery position that came out recently, which you can watch, which really focuses on how we get the club in the right delivery position. This is about how we transport that really through that impact area so that impact interval, interval to hit amazing golf shots. So give it a go. Let me know down below how you got on.